तो सर इसरो करता क्या है वाई डिड यू वाई डिड यू डिसाइड टू गो टू इसरो तो इसरो कंडक्ट एग्जाम अच्छा नेशनल लेवल देर वॉज अ प्लेस इन जर्मनी आई थिंक सो इट वॉज मेन अक्टोबर फेस्ट टाइम अच्छा ओके Right now I am uh, in the next big project of Israel, which is. Hello. Today we listen to Mr. Anurag Sinha, a scientist at Israel. Uh, he did his engineering from the college in Assam. He joined Israel because Israel offered him to take him to a foreign land, and so that was how he started, and then went on to do great, great, great work at Israel itself. And it has been an amazing. conversation with him he has explained simple things very 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 simply and so i thank him for taking time out and just speaking to me thank you sir to the rest of us listen and get inspired hello <laughs> i i love the t-shirt the moment you logged in i love the t-shirt <laughs> it, it 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 takes away the pressure altogether <laughs> and uh, to be very honest sir had it had it not been for ogro i don't think i would have had a chance to speak to you and i understand the enormity of this this conversation uh, i did a, a kind of a slight background check also on you the first thing i wanted to ask was that you you work at an organization which has done india proud over the last so many years and i mean last week it was it was just an, a national celebration what we, we all went through how do you associate your hobby of painting through this journey i mean uh, what what i have read what i've heard is ki bhai uh, ya to left side brain kaam karta hai right side brain kaam karta hai either you are good at science or you are good at humanities or arts i i uh, went through your facebook page and there were there were lots of lots of lots of uh, sketches and paintings how do you explain that which side of your brain really works <laughs> so uh, when you when you take uh, engineering so engineering mm-hmm. also in- of creativity okay so for being creative you cannot find innovative solutions okay so any in any field whether you are teaching whether you are a journalist if you are devoid of creativity then you won't reach that level so creativity is something which is uh, important and uh, desirable in all professions i would say so some of us are creative by you know painting is one side some of uh, some of the people they are very good in music and some of them are good in dramatics declamation even participating in sports is also i would say is kind of very creative thing because you are pushing yourself out from your comfort zone and try to do something else mm-hmm. so i would say that all of that in some way or the other definitely helps in whatever profession you are let's go back to school sir o group when when did you join so i joined in uh, class 7 i think so it was uh, 1984 okay 1984 class 7 yeah, yeah and i mm-hmm. passed my 12th also from org and that would be uh, 91 91 yes that would be 91 okay uh, 84 uh, okay i joined in 86 but i joined in class 3 <laughs> Yeah, so maybe huh. you are classmate of my sister. I don't know. Uh, probably a batch or two senior, I suppose. I'm ninety six. Yeah, I'm I'm ninety six. I'm ninety six. So uh, school was wonderful for all of us, uh, barring yeah. a few, uh, barring a, a few hiccups in there. And uh, I, I I remember one of your one of your comments that uh, uh, from school uh, all you remember is. the extra and the co curricular and the academics were the were the last thing on anybody's mind out there absolutely uh, uh, absolutely too. actually i never remember that i studied or uh, all i remember was those matches and uh, the inter house rivalry the inter school rivalry those were you know what the school memory is made up of you don't remember that i studied this much i prepared that i don't think so any of us uh, were you know too much into studies i would say i would put it that way exactly right i mean the topics were probably the uh, the outlaws i mean <laughs> nobody nobody like them that much if if we can put it that way 
even the toppers i won't say they were typical bookworms mm-hmm. maybe when they studied they put 100% effort yeah, maybe and <laughs> toppers participated in all the sports activities it's not that uh, in any class mm-hmm. the toppers also were very active in all other activities of the school mm-hmm. nobody was that, a full time bookworm exactly and that uh, and that is how i put it across to my daughter that uh, Uh, if somebody was good at studies and uh, somebody was good at declamation or debate or sports i mean uh, the, the school made sure that if you are say uh, 20 students in a class all 20 would be uh, leading something or the other yeah even if you are not good at anything you would be you know good at fooling around <laughs> so i would put it that way डे <laughs> 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 put tracks in uh, valley also yeah. so all this uh, yeah, we enjoyed it i don't think so there was uh, anybody hated it uh, that much uh, everybody was expecting ki kal to kuch bada hoga is actually actually while while going through all those things we expected ha kal kal to festival hai kal to maza aayega <laughs> that, that that was one way to put it uh, and i believe sir that uh, the the friends that we made back in school uh we we never found that kind of uh i mean you can say the loyalty or the trust or 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 or, or the blind faith after that i suppose it's i didn't i i am still the best the best of the guys i found when were in oji so i had a very unique uh, test of friendship okay so it was that if i share my secret with you uh-huh. you are not going to tell to anyone <laughs> and and everybody's else secret you are going to come and tell it to me that was the test of friendship in school <laughs> and this test will not pass in school or in office, in college or in office this uh-huh. can happen only in school only only in school only in school i mean uh, we, i i remember when we uh, uh, when we enter boys school and uh, class 11th they they came to our class and they said ki bhai there are certain rules in uh, boys school you don't call your senior sir you call them by their first name or second name or whatever and uh, you don't sneak on your uh, classmates come what may and uh, you don't go to the teachers for uh, com- complaints you come to us so that was very very straight forward of them now this sneaking part uh, sometimes you would get dhand pitai lag raha hai aur hame pata bhi nahi hum kyun pit rahe hain because koi classmate kuch kar gaya hai in that entire class is getting the rushing now if 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 you talk like about these things in in current scenario uh, they they are not taking very kindly ki bhai haath kaise uthaya pita kyun and and theek hai romanticize nahi kar sakte but sir i think wo kahin na kahin bond ko strong kiya hai in sab cheezon ne yeah see there are two ways to look at it Mm-hmm. you have to go with the the kind of trend which is there in the society in yes, present sir. time yes so they uh, i would be you know extremely i will appear extremely foolish if i justify all of that exactly yeah 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 Maybe the things which were the in things in those times mm-hmm. today if you call and try and uh, and ki wo purane din and yes sir mm-hmm. it doesn't make any Mm-hmm. so we have to go today's uh, norms today's norms doesn't you know we will call all of this extremely barbaric i would i would put it uh, in that yes. way yes i am sure none of us would like our kids to go through what we have exactly done. exactly sir yeah so this is how it is and in fact in fact sir uh, i i went to oji uh, a month or so back and uh, now now uh, you have to take prior permission from the from the office in advance uh, otherwise they stop you at the gates and and um, you have to go through certain formalities before you actually uh, enter the gates and i found it quite reasonable because i mean just to say ki pehle aisa nahi hota tha aur uh, we used to just walk in i mean pehle zamana alag tha 
now now the security yeah. is paramount here yeah. see there is always good uh, a good system will always have some checks and balances because mm. it's all about you know uh, getting into close proximity with children yes so yes. definitely uh, if uh, the school feels that this is the way to do it uh, i don't think so anybody should have any complaints about it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and in all city schools this is how it is done you cannot yes. walk into your children's school just like that exactly exactly sir were you always good at academics i mean theke padhte nahi the but samajh mein aata tha jo padhte the <laughs> so i would say that i was i did okay class class okay. ranking kya tha sir sir class ranking kya tha अब फर्स्ट टेंथ में तो आ ही जाते थे कैसे हां दैट इज दैट इज बीइंग मॉडेस्ट वन फर्स्ट फाइव या या मेनी टाइम्स फर्स्ट फाइव मेनी टाइम्स अच्छा मतलब लोस्टे प्रोस्टे खेलते कूदते टॉप फाइव में जो है दैट टाइम व्हाट यूज्ड टू हैपन इज दैट इन मंथली हाउस मीटिंग्स द हाउस मस्ट टू अनाउंस फर्स्ट टेन में जो भी लोग रैंक आता था क्लास टेस्ट वगैरह में एंड एंड बी क्लैपिंग अच्छा लगता था अच्छा लोग कोई ताली तो बजा रहे या 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 सो सो स्कूल जब आप ट्वेल्थ में आते हो एंड वाज देयर एनी क्लैरिटी अबाउट फॉर द स्टडीज एंड करियर या फिर इट वॉज स्टिल इंजीनियरिंग इज द ओनली ऑप्शन वी हैव और मेडिकल इज दी ऑप्शन वी हैव so uh, when we were in class 11th uh, maybe after 10th when we joined back uh, school in class 11th mm-hmm. i won't say that we were very much uh, career conscious ya hame pata tha ki engineering hi karna hai ya medical karna hai ya aise hi kuch padhai karni hai because in those days people wanted to write nda exam yes 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 number 1 then after that people took admission in some prestigious delhi colleges mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that was you know one of the second most popular thing and mm-hmm. there after came engineering or medical mm-hmm. couple of guys in our, in our class were preparing for engineering i won't say that i was very serious uh, uh, in class 12th about any preparation and all mm-hmm. it so happened that uh, uh, i wrote the exam without much of a preparation Mm-hmm. and uh, got through that's how that's how i would put it okay so which which college uh, college was it after class 12th so uh, uh, it's a it's a state government college in assam that time my father was posted there okay. so we took admission there okay so ek ek uh, there's one one common statement from almost all engineers that they just i mean very few actually uh, wanted to be engineers at an early age most of them just got through a college and just went through the uh, degree how true is that how, is it is possible or not because i'm not an engineer uh, it, it 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 really kind of amazes me that without preparation you can go through a degree that also for four years see even when we were in school way back mm-hmm. in 1994 or uh, all the way up to 1991 mm-hmm. i don't think it, engineering courses were that popular or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that much awareness was not there i have never heard about you know engineering college in my school before mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. class 11th or class 12th mm-hmm. i put it that mm-hmm. and it so happened that you know what is the syllabus of engineering entrance exam also was not known mm-hmm. just based on our class 11th and class 12th preparation and maybe one month of uh, some uh, studies at least i know that i wrote the exam that way mm-hmm. and somehow it so happened i would say luck or you know whatever you may call it aasan uh, mm-hmm. paper tha ah. and uh, nikal gaya <laughs> uh, but the beauty was when i wrote the exam uh, in those days the number of seats uh, uh, used to be very less so there mm-hmm. was only 200 seats okay so today uh, if you are writing any exam mm-hmm. irrespective of your rank you will land up in a engineering college in, in some college in some college definitely you will land that was mm-hmm. not the case in this case okay okay so you, ha- you had to be in the top 200 top 2 two- there were only 200 seats mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out of state that is 
too few actually uh, 200 <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's how it, that that's how it was and when we went to college we saw you know very brilliant very brilliant students mm-hmm. and things like that and we did a lot of catching up okay and th- that that was the case i mean you you had to pull your socks up and and kind of get down yeah, to yeah, it yeah. because uh, specifically when you uh, join an engineering college mm-hmm. uh, i don't know how they teach engineering nowadays Mm-hmm. Uh, in those days it was you know the mathematics was the first barrier okay so you have studied uh, some mathematics in class 11th and class 12th mm-hmm. and uh, the moment you open a engineering mathematics book mm-hmm. that is altogether at a different level mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so uh, you know could not make head and tail out of what is written there obviously then what so what, what, what did you do then ha <laughs> so we had to put lot of effort uh, in those days you know those many books or youtube channels also were not there that you can go and refer mm-hmm. to seniors ko beg karo thoda seekho okay. thoda extra effort dalo at least okay. we were very very uh, you know at least i was very conscious that i should not fail in any paper <laughs> till now i have not failed in any exam and this should not be the first <laughs> so that is the fear and uh, somehow I, actually we did well mm-hmm. in those days mm-hmm. yeah i mm-hmm. would say i mean uh, is it is it possible to you throw somebody into into a situation and uh, purely uh, based on his previous preparation and attitude they can swim through i mean that is how i see engineering courses because not everybody wants to be an engineer but everybody becomes an engineer once they get uh, to an institution yeah that's the sad part of it i would say actually what is i feel that there has there is some dilution mm-hmm. of okay. uh, academic standards okay because uh, that's how i i would put it and a uh, lot of uh, uh, i would say repetition of past year question papers and things like that also mm-hmm. been happening mm-hmm. uh, equal to sail through otherwise in at least i remember most of our professors were you know incarnation of devil <laughs> कौन सा किताब से पढ़ाते थे वही समझ नहीं आता था जो पढ़ाते थे वो एग्जाम में कभी नहीं आता था ऐसा लगता था कुछ रिसर्च पेपर का मतलब सॉल्व कर रहे हैं बैठ के इट यूज्ड टू बी लाइक दैट बट समहाउ वी मैनेज्ड दैट मतलब सब आई वुड पुट इट उन्होंने उन्होंने आप सबको गिनिया पिग्स बना के अपना एक्सपेरिमेंट किया हुआ था हां हां बिल्कुल एंड फनी फनी इनफ लाइक इन स्कूल वी हैड निकनेम्स ऑफ ऑल द टीचर्स in in our college also we had nicknames of uh, all the teachers all were i would say they were very good teachers but at that mm-hmm. time we considered them as you know very mm-hmm. devil of course i like getting getting to teachers now i i think i think mr khanna he he left he left a mark on almost every student uh... yeah actually we had very good uh, teachers mr khanna was one of them then we had uh, mr chinwal i don't know uh, no no uh, we, we didn't have him ha huh? and uh, then there was uh, mr kukrati he was the boy school headmaster yeah then we had uh, mr dp shukla yes uh, then we had mr pant a gem of a teacher hindi 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 teacher super yeah. so <laughs> even today uh, mm-hmm. i am always consulted in uh, translating a technical document into hindi i would okay. say that never was taught by mr pant at least uh, some benefit i am getting from that a lot a lot and and you are very right he, uh-huh. he taught hindi in a very interesting manner uh, unfortunately uh, we didn't study from him but we had another wonderful teacher uh, mr uh, gopal ganesh pande okay. so तो हिंदी ना हम लोग बड़ा लाइटली लेते थे तो क्लास सिक्स वॉज लाइक की थी कि हिंदी में मतलब वी डेंट हैव अ हिंदी टीचर इन क्लास सिक्स सो केमिस्ट्री के सर थे डॉक्टर वन ही वॉज सपोज टू टेक केयर ऑफ हिंदी तो उन्होंने ना सबको नाइनटी एट हंड्रेड दे रखा था हिंदी में तो वी वर लाइक कि अरे हिंदी हो जाएगा देन के मिस्टर पांडे एंड नाउ नाउ ही वॉज अ हिंदी टीचर तो सबका नंबर सर आ रहा है वहां पे ना मतलब मुश्किल से थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी वन कैसे करके आ रहा है सबकी मात्रा गलत है समाज का आइडिया नहीं है अलंकार तो भूल ही जाओ कुछ भी नहीं है सबसे टफ एक्चुअली हिंदी है टफेस्ट पेपर वॉज हिंदी फॉर एस नंबर नहीं मिलता उसमें 
I when I earlier I mentioned that some dilution of mm-hmm. academic standards uh, mm-hmm. could be helping. So mm-hmm. if you if you if you remember, it, when we were in school in Hindi and English both, there used to be one essay question. Yes, yes, yes. It used to be a three hundred word or mm-hmm. four hundred word kind. Of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you ask any student to write an essay in three hundred words, but yeah, what is that? Uske पूरे फैमिली में किसी के बस की बात नहीं तो चैट चैट जीपी आएगा सर वही लिखेगा हम तो नहीं लिख पाएंगे दोस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर नो लॉन्गर देयर इन एग्जाम आल्सो दैट्स हाउ इट इज अरे सर यस्टरडे नहीं हां यस्टरडे सर यस्टरडे आई वाज इनवाइटेड टू अ स्कूल माउंट कामल यहां पे स्कूल है लखनऊ में वन ऑफ द गुड वंस एंड I was I was there to judge a small group discussion kind of event among uh, in 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 the school kids, and and the topic was uh, uh, collaborative uh, relationship between AI and uh, humans uh, in 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 case of events like uh, soft landing of Chandrayaan three, and. Uh, uh, how they how they did was how they did was they gave they gave the kids a topic they gave them 10 minutes to kind of research and then they gave them 5 minutes to prepare for speaking and then they all just went off i mean cut throat bilkul sir ai ai kitna affect karega humko sir see if you i am sure that uh, we all remember when we were in school mm-hmm. none of us had seen any computer ha ah, ah. ha and uh, my first uh, idea of a computer was that mm-hmm. this is a machine where you type any question and it will spit out the answer that is what <laughs> i thought of computer yes yeah. first i saw computer when i came to engineering college so mm. that was my first uh, you know face to face in front of a computer mm. and earlier also people used to say that computer is going to come and it will replace Uh, people, it will eat away jobs, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so it will be a doom day for the humans and things like mm-hmm. that. So mm-hmm. I survived all of that and found good use of computer to do repetitive tasks and things like yes. that, and mm-hmm. made many things very efficient. Mm-hmm. So I am sure that uh, AI also will uh, be going through that process and will find okay. some good use of it. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's a new technology. That's why people are skeptical. कि क्या होगा ये हमें बदल दे. But mm-hmm. uh, real intelligence can never be replaced by artificial intelligence. Yeah, artificial intelligence will have its use where you have to deal with large amount of data and you want to quickly, you know, uh, make a meaningful inference from that. In though all mm-hmm. those things, artificial intelligence, machine learning will be of tremendous use because mm-hmm. we people. We are not good at handling large amount of data. Our yes. brain is not to handle large amount of data, but mm-hmm. we are very good at uh, 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 things in which computer is yet to catch up. I would put it mm-hmm. that way. Mm-hmm. So, if uh, artificial intelligence is put to in our day-to-day uh, life use, mm-hmm. we will find our spare time. You know, to do something more creative. That's how exactly. Okay. 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 Uh, instead of going through, the, I mean, uh, huge numbers and data, we can just hand it over to AI and work on something else. Yeah, that's how uh, it is going to. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so four years of college, I suppose, and then did you go for yeah. and M- did you go for an M Tech or uh, went for a? Yeah. Uh, okay. From the same from the same institution. No, no. Uh, after after college, I joined uh, ISRO. Okay. Uh, Acha. So went for them. Yes. Okay, sir. ISRO, ISRO. How is it? I mean, there's there's lot of. Uh, I mean, first of all, there's no information regarding how one makes to ISRO. <laughs> so how how did you how did you get how did you get there? No, ISRO conducts exam uh, at the national level. Okay. Uh, even now they conduct okay. exam and mm-hmm. uh, ISRO takes. From campus also from IITs mm-hmm. and it takes uh, through gate gate exam also. Okay, so please 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 explain explain these things. Sir. The, these are so uh, ISRO, uh, ISRO ISRO conducts uh, every year uh, a recruitment board kind of an exam, mm-hmm. which is called ICRB ISRO Centralized Recruitment Board. Okay. So ICRB 
conducts an exam mm-hmm. uh, in which engineers are eligible to write. Mm-hmm. Uh, its uh, syllabus and type of exam is like our gate exam. Okay. Then ISRO uh, conducts campus interviews in some select uh, colleges. Mm-hmm. Uh, then there is a direct entry option for PhD students. Okay. So we maintain a live register of PhD students. Mm-hmm. So PhD students send their bio data and their research interest, and periodically all of that is looked at and eligible candidates are called in, interviews taken, and based on that they are given the job. Okay, so this was the process in your case also. Isro came to the campus. Yeah. Okay. So, no, we wrote an exam. So. Ah, so you wrote an exam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and because and campus why? Is limited. On, campus is only in IITs. Okay. Okay. And maybe maybe the top ten institutes that they they go and. Uh, no, they do uh, campus only in IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay. That's actually, just two. Okay, just two of them. Okay. Two IITs, yes. And if I may I ask you. IT Madras, okay. And sir, if I may ask, uh, why did you why did you decide to go to Istro? So I won't say that I decided Achha. before Istro. <laughs> before Istro, I worked for uh, maybe a couple of months in some private uh, organization, mm-hmm. and then uh, we uh, got this opportunity to write the exam. Mm-hmm. Somehow, exam was cleared. Thereafter, went for interview, cleared mm-hmm. the interview, and it was not that you know I had a lot of options. कि यही दस नौकरियां पड़ी हुई हैं और एक उठा रहे हैं वैसा सिचुएशन नहीं था. Okay. So uh, I am talking in 1996-97 time frame. Got it. Got so, it. कि अभी आपने छोड़ दिया आपको पचास नौकरियां लगी हुई हैं लिंक्डइन पे. टाइप का माहौल so mm-hmm. any job at that time was precious yes mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and if you got a job you were lucky that's how i would put it so uh, at that moment a young boy uh, maybe of what uh, 20 21 22 yeah i was around 22 years 22 uh, joined isro uh, did you understand the 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 enormity of this That I'm working at this row, or it was just a routine kind of uh, feeling, lucky kind of job. That's okay. Nothing to get. We got. So uh, I won't say that kind of thing because already I was having a job in a private sector, which was a nice paying job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And many of my classmates, we had just passed out from college. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I got the job maybe uh, three months after my results were out. Mm-hmm. In in those three months, I was employed in a private uh, organization, mm-hmm. and when I got this job, uh, I was you know slightly skeptical. Ki what okay. Isro does, we were mm-hmm. not knowing that much. Awareness was not there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there mm-hmm. was one of our relative who was working in atomic energy. Okay. So my dad uh, called him night ten uh, o'clock. Uh, mm-hmm. That PCO PCO thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, I was my, I had put my ears very close to the you know telephone the, the conversation he what uh, he is going to tell hmm. and he told me ki nahi bahut badhiya hai foreign jaane ka mauka mil sakta hai wo wala sahi hai ye yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was the only line which i heard ki isro mein job karo foreign jaane ka chance milega wala chalo badhiya jagah hai wahi jaate hain ओजी ओजी का बंदा उसी में बिक गया सो आई आई वुड से दैट देयर वाज नॉट एनी प्लान और अ डिजाइन दैट आई एम वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स दिस आई एम वर्किंग टू गेट इनटू एन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज और आई एम वर्किंग टू गेट इनटू अ राइट काइंड ऑफ जॉब इट ऑल हैपेंड आई वुड पुट इट दैट वे बट इस वन थिंग वाज यस व्हेन व्हेन द अपॉर्चुनिटी वाज देयर आई वाज रेडी यस Okay. So it's not opportunity uh, to you can come any time. Mm-hmm. So whether you you will be able to grab that opportunity only if you are ready. If oh, you are yeah. not ready, the opportunity is of no use to you. Uh, in fact, in fact, half half the time you don't even recognize the opportunity for not ready. Yeah, that's 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 also. वो बहुत शायद आगे चले गया. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sir, is रोक करता क्या है? हाँ. So. Uh, 
ISRO actually does many things. So there uh-huh. are uh-huh. basically three verticals, I would uh-huh. say, in which ISRO. Uh-huh. So one vertical deals with uh, making and designing rockets. Okay. So that's one vertical. Second uh-huh. vertical, I would making designing rockets as well as launching it. Okay. So that's one vertical you can mm-hmm. tell. Second vertical is it designs satellites. Okay. And it operates those satellites, collects data from it for mm-hmm. various purposes. Mm-hmm. That's the second vertical. Mm-hmm. And the third vertical is a vertical where uh, you make sense out of that satellite data. The data that is so collected. Called, yeah, so that is okay. called satellite application. Okay. So there are many other things also, but broadly, these mm-hmm. are the three areas uh, in which ISRO works. So one is launch vehicle, uh, mm-hmm. and the second is satellite, and the third would be satellite data. And okay. of course, there are other things like ISRO also does some basic research in atmospheric science, planetary science, and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, for for the layman, for the layman or somebody like me who has no clue, we just celebrated soft landing on South Pole of Moon for the first time and all that stuff. I mean, we just read in the papers or on WhatsApp or things, and we were just kind of. I mean, I don't understand the uh, the process or the results. All I know is that India has done a lot of things. Sir, what has it done? And why why all this uh, celebration over soft landing on the south pole of moon? What do we get out of it? So you have to understand the significance of space exploration. Mm-hmm. So before you try to understand the significance of exp- space exploration, we have to understand what is exploration first. Mm-hmm. So if you if you recall, maybe in the uh, Europeans were the first uh, uh, explorers. Mm-hmm. They explored, they colonized the world. In that process, a mm-hmm. lot of information was generated. Industrial revolution happened. Mm-hmm. The end result was all the European countries got very rich. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And these Europeans migrated to North America. Some of them migrated to Australia, New Zealand, these kind of countries. In these countries also become developed and very rich countries. Mm-hmm. Today, if you see uh, the way world is progressing, we are already short of resources. Yes, yes. And as as technology uh, progresses, there is much more greater uh, stress on the available resources. Mm-hmm. Today, you cannot go and colonize a second country to no. uh, get the resources from there. That kind of political uh, system is no longer there it won't be acceptable in the present global uh, you know order mm-hmm. earlier this was not the case the french colonized the english colonized the portuguese mm-hmm. colonized so many countries and they today if you have to look for resources you have to go beyond that mm-hmm. so i would say that today we really do not know what kind of resources are there out there mm-hmm. or are they there in good quantity so that it can be of useful to us? Even if it is there, do you have the technology to go and bring it back? Mm-hmm. We do not know all of this. So right now, what everybody is go- trying to do is just to go there and find out what is there. Okay. Like Columbus came to India or he went to, you know, he was, he didn't Looking come with the mind. Uh-huh. Yeah, he didn't come with the mind that a hundred years down the line, the British will come and colonize India. He just mm-hmm. came here to see. Mm-hmm. And he went back with stories and later on uh, it uh, uh, allowed other explorers to come and uh, start trading in India. Mm-hmm. So we, I would say that in space exploration, we are at that stage. Okay. Where okay. we are trying to go there and try to see what is there. Once we do all of that, maybe in due course of time, we will figure out how to mine those things and how to bring them back. Right now, we do not know. Okay. okay. Right now, we do not have the technology to go and bring them back here. So everybody is trying to go there and see what is there. Because Mm -hmm. people Mm -hmm. who are going there Mm -hmm. with boots on the ground, they will have the first claim. Yes, 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 yes. That is the significance of the flag on the South Pole. Yeah. 
So mm-hmm. I wouldn't put it that ISRO has gone to South Pole with the purpose of exploiting moon. This is a yes. larger context. And yes. this is my personal, you know, appreciation mm-hmm. of the whole space mm-hmm. exploration industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of uh, scientific objectives because of which we have gone to South Pole. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was not that we have gone there just because nobody else has gone. This mm-hmm. scientifically it's mm-hmm. interesting uh, to go mm-hmm. to South Pole. That's why India has gone there. I mean, just to prove it, it, it is too expensive to just prove a point. There has to be some logic behind it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And in in these missions, mm-hmm. in this type of missions, I would say that uh, these missions are for the whole humanity. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you if you take the International Space Station. Mm-hmm. Hardly countries are actually members mm-hmm. of that mm-hmm. ISS consortium. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. all the countries in the world have benefited from the technologies which has come from ISS. For example, you take your RO water uh, machine which is there in every household in India. That has come from ISS. Even though we have not contributed monetarily for any mm-hmm. kind of research on board ISS, but in some mm-hmm. way or the other, directly or indirectly, we all have benefited uh, from the research. So, uh, wherever humans are, you know, water is very essential. Mm-hmm. So, even on space station, uh, there was a... Water had to be carried uh, through supply missions. Mm-hmm. However, on board, uh, there used to be a lot. They developed a technology to recover some of the water. Mm-hmm. That technology later in your kitchen uh, RO machines which are there in almost every household now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So similarly, the CAT scan technology also is an offshoot from research on International Space Station, which is available now in every city of India. So mm-hmm. the point is that even though we would not have contributed uh, monetarily uh, on the International Space Station program, mm-hmm. but uh, not only us, but all benefited from you know that research. Mm-hmm. So that's the potential of space research, I would put it that way. And and, and people like me wouldn't even realize that. If, if 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 I didn't get an opportunity to talk to you, I don't think I would ever think RO water, yeah, CT scan, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, deep, deeply linked hai with, with the, what, what the people are doing at uh, in uh, space explorations. So maybe I would I would say that uh, people who are into space research they would like uh, like that this situation remains always. We do, do not want too much media attention and pressure because with media attention comes a lot of pressure also. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. If things are happening the low key profile that's always uh, mm-hmm. works well for everyone mm-hmm. that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 1 discovered water, mm-hmm. now there is a pressure on Chandrayaan 3. So, uh, too much of media attention brings these kind of pressures, which mm-hmm. is not which is not the environment in which research can be done. I would put it that way. Okay. So, there, there has been a lot of criticism. Uh, for Indian institutions, uh, the, the top institutes, that there is no research-oriented uh, syllabus or there is no environment. Nahi hai, and there is a lot of brain drain because of that, because the good people, they prefer that we will go there, maybe there is a research opportunity. Hai kar lenge. Uh, ye, ye, uh, I mean, if the situation is like that, how can we rectify? So, th- this is not the, you know, I would, this is again a cultural thing. Mm-hmm. So we have been brought up uh, in school, you know, not to question anything. Yes, yes, yes. You know, a child who starts questioning in class is mm-hmm. always uh, marked out for special mm-hmm. treatment <laughs> by the yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and our whole academics is that what you have you don't have to worry about your mind. Just study it. Mm-hmm. So with that mindset, education, where research is supposed to be conducted. Mm-hmm. Now, our uh, creativity and inquisitiveness already has been killed mm-hmm. because of our education system. Mm-hmm. And that creative edge is blunted. Mm-hmm. So, you cannot blame the institute 
institute is always taking in very brilliant student research yeah. is done by student mm-hmm. or researchers mm-hmm. so it is the problem of researchers was who has come up with this kind of system mm-hmm. <clears throat> and when these guys go abroad and they see well na teacher ko i am calling by his first name mm-hmm. uh, it's a big cultural shock when they study in foreign universities mm-hmm. and where you have to treat your teachers and and uh, you are asked not to study from a fixed syllabus but to explore many things mm-hmm. so it's a different way of you know studying whereas here everything prescribed for you ha it is it is very difficult to go like be be off the track it's very very difficult yeah you have to you should not be questioning too much so that's how our education okay these are some of the lacunas of our education system but mm-hmm. despite all of this the same system has produced brilliant yes. people also yes 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 i mean we we must be doing something right because india is doing well in certain okay. regard so sir pehli pehli baar foreign kahan gaye the jiske liye isro aapne join kiya tha there was a place in germany we went ha ha i think so it was munich okay okay so and it was october fest october fest time acha okay so we, we went to attend one seminar ab mm-hmm. seminar mein kya hua wo to yaad nahi but fest ke sare memories hai mere paas so sir kya hua nahi waisa festival india mein nahi hota hai in uh-huh. india you do not have that kind of drinking culture ki yahan pe aapne उस तो देखा यहाँ तो आपने ग्लास पकड़ लिया तो आप शराबी लेवल कर दिए जाओगे तुरंत ग्लास के साथ एंड खास करके इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम यूपी बिहार सोसाइटी यहाँ तो ये सोसाइटी में एक्सेप्टेबल ही नहीं है आप पंजाब में जन्म लिए होते या केरला में थोड़ा बहुत एक्सेप्टेंस है यहाँ तो है ही नहीं <laughs> अब व्हेन वी वेंट टू म्यूनिक तो वहां देखे हर कोई भी, हर कोई बियर पी रहा है और उनके मग जो है वो हमारे जग जैसे <laughs> पंजाब की लस्सी वाला हो जो बियर ग्लासेस होते हैं दिस इज ऑल बिग ओके हां बिल्कुल जो पटियाला पैक वाला जो है उसका इक्विवेलेंट फ्रॉम <laughs> 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 Right. we have been brought up uh, 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 to face success only we have mm-hmm. not been you know taught how to face failure so that was one difference what i would say was there between uh, indians no i won't say indians between me and between them mm-hmm. so they were uh, much open uh, about failures whereas we right from childhood we have been brought up only to succeed i would say i would mm-hmm. put it that mm-hmm. we nobody has taught us uh, to face failures mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that that... that is why you know uh, yeah that is why you see whenever uh, these big projects which uh, happens not only within isro but in mm-hmm. other sectors also mm-hmm. the pressure is all about success mm mm-hmm. but uh, it was a it was a very big surprise that when chandrayaan 2 didn't uh, land properly the yeah. whole nation stood behind us uh, yes during it so things are changing but still by and large we are very success focused as a society mm mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. whereas uh, uh, they are very easy going but well, success to hai failure hua tab bhi koi baat nahi mm mm-hmm. and you would have seen that when we used to play matches with woodstock mm-hmm. we were always ki jeetna hai jeetna hai 
अब उसका वाले जीते है तो उनको कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता हाँ दे वुड जस्ट दे वुड जस्ट वॉट दे वुड रिकमेम बैक यस 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 वो आए खेले मजा किए वापस चले गए तो वो वही फर्क and and they I think so you can delay it what I'm talking about yes yes and, and the woodies woodies would not come unprepared and they would play very hard but still if they lost they would just I mean they were okay with it they were okay with it uh, yeah okay with it yeah but uh-huh. हमारे लिए सब पहली बार यार मैच आ गए चेहरे लटका के बैठे हुए हैं अगले दिन assembly में भी announce हो रहा नहीं next time again play better तो इस तरह की चीजें होती थी which was I think so the woodies uh, behave differently uh-huh. so that whole thing if you project at a institutional level mm-hmm. i would say it is how, how it is we mm-hmm. have been all brought up for we have been all brought up and we have been told that to be successful is the thing which all of us must strive for mm-hmm. nobody wants nobody has taught us what to do in case there is a failure in front of mm-hmm. uh, sir uh, as as a as a teacher ek problem mujhe face kar diya maine life mein face kiya and that was i didn't have any choice uh to study what i mean you 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 have to study whatever was being taught and agar wo bheje mein nahi ghus raha ya hame lag raha hai ki hamare man ka nahi hai uh what i na i i tell students now that if you don't have a choice just put your head down and do whatever is available uh maine ye nahi kiya tha khud maine ye nahi kiya tha ha today today if you don't have a choice become an engineer <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is how it is i would say that you know doing an arts course you have to be the very best yes you know to succeed whereas as an engineer even if you are average aapki dal roti nikal jayegi ha wo ye difference hai ek ek level to aap comfortable ho jate ho ek stage pe ha ha but if you are in not in engineering or medical field then you have to be really very very good at what you are doing right 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 because uh, out there out so, there uh, and so an average student should never go into economics or political science that is my mm-hmm. i mean view i would put it that way because you have to be really good uh, mm-hmm. as an economist or as a political scientist but as an engineer you can afford to be still a mediocre guy and get into a job and aapki dal roti nikal jayegi that is that is that is interesting maybe uh, i i i should have spoken to you 20 years back and i would be an engineer kyunki baaki to video sthani ye kar lete ja ke aaram se See, but twenty years before, engineering was not same as it is today. Yes, agreed, agreed, agreed. The, there is today a lot of focus on coding and things like that. There is much less focus on core core subjects. Everybody wants to uh, study either computer science or information technology. Mm-hmm. Uh, few people go for core subjects like mechanical, electrical, and mm-hmm. uh, you know civil mm-hmm. or. instrumentation these these uh, core engineering branches are really difficult i would put it that way so you talked about the culture of uh, electrical is uh, 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 core branches you have to be really good you know to uh, succeed in them whereas hmm. uh, computer in computer science also if you have to really do well you should be really very good at it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh, most of the people are not into that kind of cutting edge research work or the development work mm-hmm. but still i would say that uh, the it sector in india has given lot of job opportunities yes. for the for the yes. Yes. we yes. have to give give that credit to it of sector mm-hmm. uh, it mm-hmm. sector has india on the world map mm-hmm. i will i will put it that way mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you you spoke about the culture of uh, we are only successful in india we are not we are not very good at handling uh, failures uh, sir aapne sabse bada failure kab face kiya aur handle kaise kiya so whatever failure we have faced in our job is not at an individual level i will put it that way as mm-hmm. a team we have had failures mm-hmm. uh, i was working in a project so gslv 
if you google it uh, it will be it has been christened as the naughty boy of isro it okay. had a series of failures and mm-hmm. as a team we had this colossal you know hurdle to cross to make this rocket on land and uh, three or four continuous failure we had had and every time after the mission we had to come back and analyze what went wrong what went wrong. so uh, this went on for maybe you know five or six years so okay. five or six years my team didn't taste success very very trying period of uh, our career i will i will put it that way. so sir was it was it a kind of uh, away from media lonely battle or was it in full public view when you were being like uh, watched every time ab kya hoga so all our launches whether you like it or not happens in public mm-hmm. view it, mm-hmm. launch is happening people know launch is successful or it is unsuccessful mm-hmm. so i would say that the actual launch was always in public domain before and after each of these launches they mm-hmm. were away from public scrutiny so so how how do you how do you pull yourself back like theek hai and 5 6 years are bahut lamba time hota hai to kind of constantly keep keep See, keep failing is, so i would i would say that you know we never had any other choice we okay. were part of this project and our job was to make this rocket function mm-hmm. to demonstrate it mm-hmm. that uh, it can fly and put a satellite in orbit so there was no plan okay so this is the thing and you have to work for it and you have to make it all right otherwise there is no other go and uh, nobody wanted to quit because quitters uh, you, you are leveled as a quitter everywhere so nobody yeah. wanted to quit the project everybody pulled along hmm. and in the end uh, uh, this was the grand success in fact this was the rocket which put chandrayaan chandrayaan 2 uh, okay uh, to moon okay okay so i mean the thing things are related right we move one step one step at a time it's not as if chandrayaan 3 aa gaya and piche ka sab importance uh, chale gaya <laughs> yeah so life, life is all one big story isn't it <laughs> what happened in your childhood affects you now mm-hmm. and how you are doing today is going to affect your retired life it's mm-hmm. all connected mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh <laughs> सर पेंटिंग पेंटिंग करते हैं अभी टाइम मिलता है आपको सो आई स्टिल डू लॉट ऑफ स्केचिंग इन फैक्ट आई एम वेरी यू नो फॉर्चुनेट दैट लॉट ऑफ गुड स्केचेस स्पेशली यंग गर्ल्स आर देयर दे डू वेरी गुड स्केचिंग सो आई ऑलवेज एनकरेज देम टू खाली टाइम में स्केच बनाओ एंड माय ऑफिस आई हैव पुट मेनी स्केचेस आई फ्रेम देम एंड आई हैव पुट इन माय ऑफिस ये पीछे पीछे इवन इन माय टीम Uh, this is the uh, uh, paint of this is raja ravi varma painting okay. but i have something here i think uh-huh. uh, uh, which has been done by my wife is also a good uh, you know good in arts and craft i will put it that way aur hame bhi kiya hai hum bhi covid mein humne bahut banaya acha somehow time has to be passed you know yes yes, yes. and my daughter's art kit was there in house ha uh-huh. ha uh-huh. मैंने तो सब पे कब्जा कर लिया और उसपे पूरे हाथ साफ किए हमने और फेसबुक पे डाला सब फोटो बहुत लाइक्स आए मतलब सर वाइफ को उजी के बारे में क्या बताया है अच्छी अच्छी बात है अभी 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 गोवा गोवा गए थे आप लोग बैच ऑफ नाइनटी वन सो वेन यू आर With your batchmates, you yeah. happen to lose all your inhibition. Yes. So, we are back in our own old form. And this time, it had never happened earlier. This time, when I came back to my house, my mouth was like the way of the OG people came out of the house. So, then I had to control myself and say, no, this is not. And then I was conscious that I didn't do such things in my own way. So, I had to do such things in my own way. वही मतलब फ्लुएंसी में निकल गया वही वाला सर <laughs> क्या होता है ना तो घर पे एक हमारी इमेज है आ, कि भाई जिंटीमैन है और पढ़े लिखे लोग हैं थोड़ा सा एंड सडनली व्हेन व्हेन द फैमिली सीज दैट 
अरे इज इट द इज इट द पर्सन आई मैरिड फॉर द राइट रीजन आर नॉट नहीं I I I wouldn't say say that my 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 wife. wife. Uh, I, I, I will not say what was my wife. My son, he himself is now you know 22 years old. Uh-huh. My daughter is 16 years old. Uh-huh. वो डिस्कस कर रहे थे कि यार हमारे बाप को ये सब भी पता है हमारा बाप तो जाके रॉकेट लॉन्च कर रहा है ये तो छुपा रहा मैं मैं ऐसे क्लास में हमेशा बोलता हूँ कि तुम लोग ना दो लोगों से पंगे मत लो एक अपने बाप से एक टीचर से बिकॉज तुमने उसको ना बस एक एस पापा देखा हुआ है अरे पापा भी कभी तो पापा नहीं था तो हम अपनी लाइफ बड़ी कंपार्टमेंटलाइज तरीके से जीता है घर पर राइट एक सैनिटाइज बिहेवियर होता हमारा और इन लोगों ने हमारा असली रूप जो है वो दिखा नहीं है तो एक झलक इन्होंने देखी मेरी और देवर बड़ी शॉक कि ये तो कुछ और ही आदमी है मुझे तो डर लगता है स्लीपिंग ओजी ओजी ने सर बहुत 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 अच्छा काम किया द द द द आई मीन सर एक एक क्वेश्चन मुझसे पूछा किसी ने अभी कि यू टॉक सो मच अबाउट ओजी व्हाट इट गेव यू एंड एंड द काइंड ऑफ लाइफ यू हैड देयर व्हाई डोंट यू और और मोस्ट ऑफ यू गाइस सेंड योर चाइल्ड टू ओजी ओजी नाउ इस पे क्या टेक रहेगा सर so i would say that uh, when my parents when my parents were posted in a very small mm-hmm. and uh, uh, that place was not having any good school even mm-hmm. it was not having a kendriya vidyalaya also acha okay yeah to ek wo tha ki you know lack of uh, quality school uh, in small town that was the one reason and my father's job was transferable mm-hmm. yeah so by class seven, I would have changed around ten to eleven schools. Okay. Then they decided, okay, enough is enough, mm-hmm. enough is enough, and uh, mm-hmm. we have to send him to hostel. So in my case, this was once I went. Then they decided that by uh, my sister also, she was also sent to the same classes. Mm-hmm. So those kind of uh, situation we haven't faced. हम जहाँ जहाँ पे रहे अच्छे schools. है वहां पे <laughs> किसी तरह का एजुकेशन में कोई इशू फेस नहीं किया <laughs> तो इसीलिए कभी सोचा नहीं और ट्रांसफरेबल जॉब भी नहीं था हाँ, no स्टेबिलिटी टू ट्रांसफर हो रहा है भाई स्कूल <laughs> स्टेबिलिटी थी एक लाइफ में तो उस वजह से जो है सोचा नहीं कभी एनी अदर रीजन हाँ आई आई थिंक सो बिकॉज वी आर वी आर हाँ वी आर बेसिकली मोर स्टेबल देन वॉट आर पेरेंट्स वर बेसिकली बिकॉज क्योंकि सर ओ जी है तो ओ जी ही नथिंग नथिंग बीट्स इट इफ द चाइल्ड इज एबल टू काइंड ऑफ एडजस्ट टू ओ जी इन दिस टाइम जी वॉज वन काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सपीरियंस अनफॉर्गेटेबल एंड दैट इज हाउ आई वुड इट हेज लेफ्ट you know indelible uh, stamp on yeah. mm-hmm. the way we connect with not only our batchmates but even juniors whom mm-hmm. we haven't met in school seniors <laughs> seniors who we haven't met in school unke sath bhi jo connect aaj ki tarikh mein ho jata hai whenever we meet in reunions and even otherwise it's an amazing thing which only a school like oji can provide Yes, I mean, I, I, I think I mentioned right. Same thing right. doesn't uh-huh. happen. Uh-huh. See, in Bangalore, I'm, I'm based in Bangalore. Here, there are many juniors from our college, mm-hmm. but that kind, because these guys are only approaching only by कोई नौकरी, कोई internship. इस तरह के काम के लिए ये लोग तो हमारे जो भी OG वाले मिलते हैं, there is no hidden. I mean, there is no agenda. No agenda. हाँ. नहीं बनता 
अब स्कूल कॉलेज कॉलेज के जूनियर्स या सीनियर्स से आपका तो एजेंडा रहता ही है I mean, I, मुझे सर एक वो वी 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 वर वर एंड विपिन विपिन सर ने एक शेर सुनाया था सो देर वॉज लाइक देर वर पीपल फ्रॉम लाइक बीस साल तीस साल जूनियर है एंड देर वेटिंग एंटिसिपेशन किया जो बंदा एक शेर सुनाएगा देर वॉज टू लाइन्स जस्ट टू लाइन्स कि आई uh, थिंक मतलब मुझे एग्जैक्टली exactly याद नहीं है था कि uh, तुम्हारे साथ बैठ के इंतजार किया है तुम्हारा ऐसे कुछ था वो इट वॉज एंड एंड आई मीन ओनली विपिन सर को टू लिट ऑफ द वे ही डेड एंड मतलब आप जो आप कह रहे हो ना एग्जैक्टली वही चीज है कि देर इज देर नो बाउंड्रीज टू इट यूर द स्कूल मेट्स वो बैच वैच एज उम्र सब पता नहीं कहाँ चले जाता है सो सर वॉट वॉट नेक्स्ट वॉट नेक्स्ट इन करियर वॉट नेक्स्ट करियर हाँ सर career so i mean right now i am uh, in the next big project of isra which is gaganyan project gaganyan okay so this is a project in which we have to send a human in space and bring him back safely you are heading it i am part of it part of it i am heading one particular i am heading one particular area of it i will put it okay Why? Why would be? Gaganyan project is a very Gaganyan project is a very unique project in the sense that it is a national project. Okay. So there are many, uh, you know, it has got Air Force, DRDO, ISRO, foreign partners also. So it's a pan-India project which ISRO is leading. That is how I would put it. So in okay. that way, it's very big, mother of all projects. So after Chandrayaan. The next big thing which Isra will do with a bang is this Gaganyaan. So watch out for it. I would say. When 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 can we expect it? I know we are working for it. And, uh, <laughs> these uh, things generally the schedule schedule and all we okay. generally do not discuss in public domain. Yeah. Okay. 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 So it will happen. I I will put it this way that it will happen when it will happen. <laughs> and and again india will celebrate and again india will celebrate but it will it will happen it will happen sooner than later okay and uh, th- these are the things that inspire a nation sir these are the things that inspire a nation uh uh अभी आपने ना कोविड का सर बात किया था तो उसमें आई मीन यू जस्ट टॉकिंग द ड्यूरिंग कोविड यू पीपल वर बिजी इन पेंटिंग एंड ऑल सर कोविड में क्या हुआ था दैट आई आई डोंट नो हाउ रिलायबल दैट रील वाज दैट लेडी वाज आस्क वी अज्यूम शी वाज अ साइंटिस्ट दैट व्हेन द वैक्सीन इज कमिंग एंड शी शिंदी शाउटेड शाउटेड दैट गो एंड आस्क मेसी और रोनाल्डो यू पे देम अ लॉट ऑफ मनी गो एंड गो एंड टेल देम टू सेव द वर्ल्ड normally you don't expect a scientist to kind of uh, behave like that so i'm not i'm not sure if she was one but uh, sir ye kya khunas rehta hai thoda that we are saving the world we are pushing the world ahead and uh, still not the uh, not the stars so first of all uh, there are many lady was not from isra because isra is not into medical ha. domain uh, she was from uh, she was from from from, 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 from ha yeah and but and why this would have become viral was because she said something outrageous because mm-hmm. of whatever reasons i do not know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but generally scientist will never you know react like that maybe she was tensed or uh, she was under some pressure that mm-hmm. why she would have responded i am mm-hmm. sure in better times she would have given a better answer better answer and 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 and, and getting getting to messi i think uh, he deserves what he gets Absolutely. Can he anybody play like Messi from <laughs> this world of six billion plus people? There is one Messi. This one Messi. And it's easy to criticize uh, Messi or Tendulkar, but uh, you know, can you repay the kind of joy he has brought in your life? Can you repay? It? No. Can you repay the kind of joy which Kishore Kumar has brought in your life? No. Can you repay? It? So we have to. I would put it that. So whatever, whatever people. Ah. Uh, 
आपने सचिन तेंदुलकर के कितने इनिंग्स एंजॉय किया yes. धोनी ने वर्ल्ड कप जीता है आपको क्या खुशी हुई उस खुशी को आप रिपे कर सकते हो क्या नॉट एट ऑल एंड इंस्पिरेशन एंड इंस्पिरेशन दट केम अलॉन्ग या नो मोर देन इंस्पिरेशन आई एम ओनली टेलिंग दैट वॉट एवर जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस दे ब्रॉट इन द लाइफ ऑफ वन पॉइंट फोर बिलियन पीपल एटलीस्ट फॉर तेंदुलकर एंड धोनी एंड फॉर मेसी सिक्स बिलियन पीपल can you repay him ah true 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 he has done a favor on the humanity i would say <laughs> by performing like messi uh, uh, yeah it is it is like this you can never pay him whatever money you pay is not uh, uh, at least at least for for a few few hours few moments you, you forget the problems you forget the problems you are just uh, charmed yeah. by when 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 these players uh, or or people are performing uh, so that is that is undertakes that is undertakes yeah that is uh, so sir you should never equate ke uh, isko bahut paise mil rahe hain whether uh-huh. he really deserves of course he deserves that is why he is being paid hmm uh-huh. hmm money nobody will pay anybody even 100 rupees if he is non deserving non deserving that is how money works And then we we haven't seen the hard work that has gone behind the curtains. We haven't seen that. Yeah, hmm. right from childhood he would have sacrificed his his childhood to play mm-hmm. football, to play mm-hmm. at the level at which we have seen. See, we are seeing a finished product, a yes. perfect product, the yes. kind of hard work and sacrifices which have gone into making that finished product. Mm-hmm. That is why we think that it is a lot of money. It is not like that. sir last uh, last thing yeah, yeah, yeah. ha so uh, yeah. what do you suggest some some youngster who is in college pursuing engineering uh what what should he or she expect if they want to come to isro so don't compare yourself with any expectations acha okay <laughs> not bad Then, because people think that by Israel we are going, we have to be an astronaut. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we have to be a rocket designer. So it is not like that. You know, we have to do uh, many things, and uh, design is one part of it. Uh-huh. There are many other routine things which, uh, as a officer in railway in uh, Israel, we have to do. And if you come with an expectation that we have to do research, we have to do. so life is not about you know first choice life mm-hmm. is about how you handle your second choice or third choice what do you do with them mm-hmm. what best use or what best you can make out of your second choice or third choice but sometimes mm-hmm. even no choice. that mm-hmm. only those people only actually ultimately you know lead, uh, lead a balanced life a successful life Mm-hmm. nobody uh, is alive i don't think so anybody is there who has only got first choices in life right so uh, any 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 suggestions on the habit of reading because uh, wo main personally puchta hu because i i find it very difficult to persuade uh, children and kids and students to get into reading uh Is, uh, is absolutely essential reading by reading basically you know acquiring knowledge or acquiring some skill and even general purpose reading also some stories some uh, books it's always good but you should read the right type of uh, you know books that is very important mm-hmm. ab uh, you know even let's say at the age of 40 all mm-hmm. you are reading is james hadley chase <laughs> then it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make sense. You have to, yeah, yeah. So uh, that is also required, you know. Unless mm-hmm. you will never appreciate some of the better books. Some of the better things, right? Okay, yeah. sir. 
इट हैज बीन अ वंडरफुल इवनिंग फॉर मी आई डोंट नो अबाउट यू कुछ काम धंधा छोड़ के यहाँ बैठे बातें कर रहे थे मैं तो वेट कर रहा था आई रिमेम्बर चेजिंग यू फॉर वॉट पास्ट थ्री फोर मंथ्स आई सपोज तब से शुरू किया था मैंने finally finally sir we got you and thank you thank, thank you very much and sir uh agle agle launch pe na sir fir se ek baar <laughs> i would expect and i thank uh, ogro for uh, kind of uh, putting me in a, in a, in a, in a uh, frame where i could speak to uh, somebody like you thanks a lot sir thank you thank you sir thank you Thank you, thank you very much. It has been fantastic talking to you. Oh, I hope you heard the entire thing. Now, please like, share, subscribe, spread the word around. I guess we are doing some good work. We are coming up with people who are superstars the next door. So, if you want to be one in future, spread the word around. Thank you.